is up, guys? I bet you didn't think that you'd see me after the MCAT journey, but I figured it's a part of my life now, just uh, recapping my day and telling you all about what I've been thinking, what I've been doing. So I figured that, you know what? I'm going to try to keep doing videos. I'm going to try to keep doing videos if it happens to be once a week or twice a week or once a month, you know? I just want to continue um, just my thoughts from the MCAT yesterday as things are toning down. I feel a lot more relaxed. The questions that I have, you know, I'm just putting them to the side. I honestly think that I put myself out on the line. I did all I can. And to all you September 9th takers, especially to you, Mandy, because I know you are probably one of the few people that do watch this video. And also to iCanon Kid, thanks for supporting me in the journey. And if I have to retake, whatever happens, you know, I have no regrets about how I studied and the time I put in. So that's just my personal thoughts. So to wrap that up, um, today I woke up and I decided that I want to play Stardew Valley because I told my friend Robin that I'd start playing after the MCAT. So I purchased it on Steam, didn't have Steam, and as you all know, my computer is dying. Potatoes, I took a whole bunch of potatoes and I grew them in a tiny little plot and then I would come and harvest them later. And then after that, I went to get dinner with my friends. We went to get a pad thai together and then I went to the library and then I was reading my book by Frederick Douglass, A Narrative of a Life of a Slave by Himself. The pertinence of the by himself is because Frederick Douglass wanted to tell the abolitionists that he himself wrote and provided the rhetoric available in his narrative and it was not like a marionette where he was a puppet. Um, I really believe that his narrative is going to be quite profound. I'm not going to make any claims about it since I have not finished the entirety of it yet. Oh, okay, here's my startup. This is almost full, as you all know. But um, I think that he is a powerful and profound orator. And that, you know, one day I wish that I could just, you know, be like him. I want to be able to convict and sway people with my speech. And that movie National Treasure... That's what I want to be. I want to be someone well-spoken. I want to be well thought out in my arguments. And, you know, for a time, I just separated myself from the life. I just didn't think that pursuing literature or oratory or just practicing my speaking was important until I founded this YouTube channel. Now, I know what you're saying, that this is small and that no one watches, but the goal of becoming a better speaker is not to gain an audience. The goal of becoming a better speaker is to improve your thinking and to improve the way um, that you communicate yourself to another person is an interaction that you can only hone and get better at with time.